Alright, so this video we're going to look at finding the equation of a parabola. But before we do, let's take a look at the equations. So the equation of a parabola, we have x squared equals 4py. Well, that's, that's a parabola that's going to either open up or down because the x is squared. And, you know, whether it opens up or down, that's going to be based on what value p is. And then we have one that's going to open either left or right. y squared equals 4px. See, the y, well, the y is squared. And whether it opens left or right, that's going to depend on p. Remember, one that opens to the right, p will be positive. One that opens to the left, p will be negative. And same thing up here. If p is positive, it'll open up. If p is negative, it will open down. And then we also have the focus and the directrix. So on one that opens upward, so we have a, let's say we have a parabola here. Okay, this would be your focus. Here's your vertex. So your focus, this distance from here to here is P. That's that distance, P. And then P units down would be your directrix. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. See, once we find P, we can get the coordinates of the uh, focus and we can get the directrix. And then same thing over here, except, you know, it's either going to open right or left. So if we look at this, if the focus is here, of course. This distance to here would be P, and then the, the directrix would be back here, P units, okay? Now, you know, don't, don't try to memorize, okay, well, I got to add P to this to get the directrix, or got to add P to this, or subtract P to get the focus. The best thing to do is you're going to, you're going to, just sketch out the information you're given and then and it makes it a lot easier to work and plus you know not all the parabolas are going to be at the the vertex is going to be at zero zero sometimes it may not and so another way to write these when they're see here the vertex is at zero zero but if we look at it x minus h squared equals four P times Y minus K and then here we would have uh, Y minus K squared equals 4 P times X minus H and the vertex would be H K alright so let's go ahead and take a look at an example alright so let's look at this example they want us to find an equation for the parabola that satisfies the focus is 0, 0, and the directrix is y equals 6. And that's a typo. That should be a C there. All right. So first thing we want to do is let's just let's sketch it Okay, and see what we're dealing with. two three four five six all right so we've got a focus at zero zero right here the directrix is the line y equals six that's a horizontal line okay all right so let's look let's look and see what we have well we know we have a parabola that opens downward because we've got the directrix here and the focus here all right, so that means since it opens downward, it's in the form x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. So that's the form we have it in. So we need to know h, k, and p. All right, well, h, k, that's the vertex. All right. Well, we know the vertex is halfway between the focus and the directrix. So if this is, this right here is the line y equals 6. This is 0, 0. 
And so this is six units, so we know the focus is going to be, I'm sorry, not the focus, but the vertex is going to be here at 0, 3. Okay. So we have our vertex is 0, 3. So here's H, here's K. All right, so now we have all that. Now we need P. Well, P that's this distance. See? The distance from the vertex to the directrix and the d distance from the vertex to the focus is 3 units. Okay? So, we know that P is equal to well now let's look at this is it 3 well this parabola opens downward and for a parabola that opens downward P is negative so this P is equal to negative 3 alright so that's why it's important to draw it to see which way it opens and then you'll know if P is positive 3 or negative 3 alright so now, well, look at here. There's P, there's H, there's K. And so we just plug everything in. So we get X minus H squared equals 4 times P times Y minus K. And so we get X squared equals negative 12 negative 12 times y minus 3 and there's the equation of your parabola all right so i hope that helped uh, check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching